look at these pictures what these people are doing these people are doing just delivering the lunch which is prepared at your house to your offices friends i am going to tell you about the success of the uh, dabawalas we are uh, 5000 people in our organizations <coughs> with eight grade schoolings delivering 2 lakhs tiffins in a day within a period of 3 hours times <coughs> we deliver the tiffin boxes to the office going people as well as the school going kids which is 122 years old organizations we are doing with non stop we are the mumbai dabawalas <laughs> mumbai dabawalas system is attracted to many peoples in the world how the harvard university is attracted they have done one case study which is published in their uh, syllabus on the mumbai dabawala for their time management and the supply chain uh, logistic <clears throat> friends if you see the first picture a person dabawala is carrying wooden crates on his head which is weighing 60 to 65 kg in the next picture to the rear part of the bicycle is hang some tiffin boxes which is an art itself to hang a tiffin boxes 40 tiffin boxes to the cycles friends you don't require any kind of fuel for the uh, cycles so it's already a pollution free <laughs> sorry our believe that we believe that work is workships friends dabawala believe that customer is the king for the dabawala not the singh is the king our secrets reveal this is the process that a people b people c people they are collecting your tiffins from your house they go to the nearby railway stations there they will segregate as per the destination wise we have given some coding code to the destinations that is charni road we have given the toll numbers accordingly they will segregate the tiffin boxes from there that one number person will come to the particular stations he will pick up your tiffin and deliver it to your offices these are some coding systems that this is the upper part of the dabba uh, vlp stands for the ville parle railway stations in suburban in mumbai that e person will come to your house he will go to the ville parle railway stations from there he will put your tiffin on the three number bucket which is going to a church gate there that nine number person will come to the station church gate stations he will pick up your tiffin then he will go to the express tower ex stands for the express tower building which is in narivan point on the 12th floor he will keep your tiffin box outside your office but even though daily having disosa his own tiffin he is not able to identify his own tiffin that is why the name disosa is written there <laughs> friends if you keep a thousand tiffin at a place you will not identify your tiffin but if you ask any dabba wala he will give it to your tiffins only <laughs> these are some examples like that gs stands for the ghatkopar railway stations bo stands for the boreli railway stations t stands for the thane railway stations friends the precautionary measures you have to take no things has been taken granted in our organizations so it is the first man duty to see that in transit your tiffin is handled by 6 to 7 peoples as well as in the house you wash it and that time sometimes number become invisible so it is very difficult to us also give a proper delivery so it is the first man duty to see that number should be a visible if it is not visible he will go to the pen box he will buy a pen box and with the finger he will write the numbers there over friends because we have a shake by our customer as well as the jay by our customer what will happen the shake by tiffin goes to the jain by so that is why we have to take the precautionaries <laughs> so we are going into the traveling into the local uh, local train in the mumbai so 12 uh, coach train 4000 commuters travels 8000 disputed happens but no excuses duty comes first this is into the local compartment after entering into the local compartment this is outside the church gate stations they are just rearranging the tiffin as per the destination wise in the second uh, picture they are just going on the delivery they have put at the tiffin boxes into the crates after finishing your uh, lunch friends again your empty box goes to your house so this is the return journey collection of the tiffin in the first picture is going on and in the second picture they are just segregating as per the destination wise if you see in the picture the friends on the second uh, picture that person has sat on the rack and making some notes we are very disciplined people in our organization leave has been not sanctioned without any prior notice wearing white cap is mandatory so he's just making that note who has not wear the cap who has remained absent on without prior notice so in every 15th in our organization office we have the meeting that time we are going to penalize these kind of people this is our discipline during work hours smoke smoking and the uh, alcohol is not allowed 
Wearing white cap is mandatory. No leave without any prior notice has been sanctioned. We provide employment to our citizens, you know, citizens also. We have in our organization 72 years old people in our organizations. We are happy delivering the dabba to the every customers even in the times of the recessions and the depressions. <laughs> <laughs> These are some facts about uh, our organizations which is 122 years old organizations. Friends, we don't use any kind of uh, technology for because we have illiterate people in our organizations. For illiterate people, his brain is the computer for him and this is the supercomputer. Once you cover your supercomputer with this kind of cover, nothing is going to happen. <laughs> Friends, error rate is 1 in 1.6 in 1 million transactions. My father says that error is horror and don't look into the mirror. So we have uh, honored with the Six Sigma certificate. Friends, let me tell you, we have not applied for the Six Sigma. <laughs> but Six Sigma comes to us. <laughs> we are charging very nominal fees for the service. That is 350 to 400 rupees per month. Yearly turnover is 45 crores for the organizations. Per member is now getting seven to eight thousands in organizations, and everybody is getting the same contributions right from the president to the worker levels. <coughs> so this is one of the. Uh, uh, <laughs> I told you about that. The most of the world's people uh, get attracted from the Dabawala systems. How the Prince Charles visited on the fourth November two thousand three. Here among one of the uh, against the attractive persons, <laughs> the, Richard Branson's. He had literally traveled along with the Dabawalas into the local compartment wearing white cap and having the tiffin box in his hand. He has taken these kind of snaps and the photographs and he said that I'm just going to display these kind of photographs in my worldwide offices to convey the message to my employees that work like a Dabawalas. <laughs> so, thank you friends. Thank you, thank you.